From Bill Kelly, we know that legendary Chicago boxing coach Martin McGarry grew up in Ireland. His older brothers taught him how to punch. He put those lessons to good use at school and at neighborhood dance halls. When Martin was 17, he whipped a world champ in his first ever boxing match, a last minute bout in London that helped him make a name for himself. In 1969, Martin moved to Chicago and fought his way to a Golden Gloves title and two state championships. He even won a few professional fights. He was knocked down a few times, but he was never knocked out. Now the 61-year-old has another fight on his hands. This one is for his life. Martin is facing long odds against a formidable opponent, a rare genetic disorder that causes the liver to produce proteins that attack the heart, kidneys, and other organs. This same disease killed his mother and two of his brothers. There is no known cure. From the Southtown Star, we know that McGarry, who learned to box in Ireland, turned his garage into a boxing ring and training gym, his daughter said, where half the neighborhood came to train. He also sponsored boxing events as fundraisers at local schools. Kids still drop by to train, but her dad is no longer coaching or fighting. A Golden Gloves champ himself, McGarry trained many other Golden Gloves champs, state champs, and Olympian Montel Griffin. Well, Martin McGarry, please come forward. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Angela. Just to say a few words, I would like to thank you so much for this. Uh, it's absolutely a great honor for me to be introduced to the Sports Hall of Fame, the uh, Sports Faith Hall of Fame. I would first like to recognize my family who are with me today, Teresa, Jim, uh, Morgan, my favorite daughter-in-law, Megan, Molly and Mike, Nora and James, and of course my wife, Kathy, uh, who has been the wind beneath my sails for so many years. And I'd like to extend uh, thanks to my uh, other families that's here today, Barb and Andy, Don and Lita, uh, for sharing this day with me. Growing up in poor Ireland, it was a rural area, there weren't many sports opportunities for young people like myself. A priest in our parish, Father Hart, recognized the need to give young men an outlet to build character. So we started a boxing club. What better way to get uh, kids involved in activities. And I was able to work with my older brothers to learn how to box. Uh, they taught me a lot, you know, they were good guys and came up, went through the school of hard knocks. Uh, I, my life would be probably so different if it weren't for the dedication and direction that Father Hart instilled in us and uh, he was a great man we loved him so much for doing that and it uh, really turned our lives around boxing is always a big part of my life and after coming to Chicago I was fortunate to have worked out with some great boxers and Johnny Coolins, gym at 63rd and Woodlawn University uh, probably the only white kid down there at the time and uh, I learned a lot from those guys, and I went on to win Golden Gloves and state championships. And uh, by the way, the kid I beat, it wasn't a world champion, it was a Welsh champion. So, but he was, he probably could have been a world champion. He was tough enough, those Welsh are tough guys, you know. Uh, but anyhow, uh, giving back has been uh, very important for me in this, uh, uh, with great pride to give back to uh, you know to the boxing community and help kids and being able to coach hundreds of other kids uh, in the McGarry Boxing Club that I set up about 20 years ago. Some of them uh, come from underprivileged areas and knowing that I made a difference in their life was really gratifying to me. It was good to see those kids come out of the ghetto and wherever and uh, you know I wasn't from the ghetto too but it was in County Mayo. <laughs> kind of a ghetto. <laughs> Uh, we had a lot of potatoes and seafood, so we didn't uh, go hungry, you know. Uh, but I've been blessed in so many ways. Uh, and with God in one corner and my great family in another corner, hopefully we'll be able to continue teaching young, young kids, young guys uh, the right way to do the best that they can and uh, have a good life and uh, aspire to be great people. Thank you.
thank you so much and thank you Angela and thank you uh, Pat great people great family I love you God bless keep me in your prayers thank you and I will beat amyloidosis too that's the disease I'm fighting the disease called amyloidosis and uh, hopefully we'll beat that too thank you